So we want to do half and half PB&J. We're packing PB&J into boxes. I'm shipping all these boxes of peanut butter and jelly to everyone. 10 tons of PB&J. That's how much was collected in the month-long challenge. In these bins, that's 20,929 pounds of peanut butter and jelly. Wow, I can't believe how much peanut butter and jelly. 78 elementary, middle, and high schools participated in October. Monday, the winning schools got to sort and pack them to be delivered to shelters, pantries, and meal programs to feed hungry children. This is the second year we've won, and this is the first year I've got to come packing and really help with it, and so I'm just happy that we could come and do as much as we could to help. Jenna Buraszewski is an eighth grader at Stefan Middle School in Mequon, one of the schools winning most pounds collected per student. 3.08 pounds per student. St. Patrick Parish School in Elkhorn also on that list. I brought in five cans myself. Whitefish Bay Middle School collected the most, 3,000 pounds on its own. The the effort is all about kids helping kids. There are 105,000 children who are in need and struggling with hunger right in the eastern half of the state. So this program um, really helps educate children at a really basic level about what they can do to help feed another child. And it's as simple as providing a jar of these, an everyday staple packed with protein that needy kids may not have had regular access to until now. You just eat one peanut butter jelly jar where this is many. It's just amazing. And for their generous donation, each winning school will receive a $250 gift card to a sporting goods store and will be recognized by the Bucks during Saturday's game. Reporting in Milwaukee, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News.